okay uh, in this problem following data related to an orthogonal cutting process chip length obtained is equal to 96 mm uncut chip length is equal to 240 mm rake angle used is 20 degree depth of cut is given 0 0.6 mm horizontal and vertical component of the forces that means the cutting force 2400 newton and thrust force 240 newton respectively determine the following shear plane angle uh, chip thickness, the friction angle, and the resultant cutting force. Okay, let's see how to solve this problem. Figure for this problem. Then uh, the obtained chip length is given. Obtained chip length is given. This uh, length is equal to 96 uh, millimeter. The uncut chip length before it got removed from the surface. That length is given the 240 millimeter. And also the depth of cut is 0.6 and the rake angle uh, 20 degree. Then the cutting force acting along the cutting direction 2400 Newton and the thrust force 240 Newton. As the first question, the problem asking the shear plane angle 5. So you have to determine at the first part the 5. For the 5, you all know we have the equation. Tan inverse R cos alpha divided by 1 minus R sin alpha. Here R, R is the chip thickness. R is the chip thickness. Here the thickness of the chip is not given. In this situation, we have to determine the chip, th uh, chip thickness ratio. Sorry, R is the th uh, chip thickness ratio. R we have to determine using the length of the uh, removed chip and the uncut chip plane. So then uh, this is uh, can uh, determine in this way. Well, let me explain that one also. Let's take the width of the cut is the W. By equating the volume, by equating the volume, we can develop the equation of the chip thickness ratio. So after it removed from the workpiece, what is the volume? Let's take this uh, length as L2. L2 W into T2. Before it going to remove from the surface, what is the volume? Before it going to remove from the volume uh, surface, the volume is equal L1. The width is uh, doesn't change, and the T1. Okay. Then R is equal. R is equal T1 divided by T2. Okay. So by making the T1 divided by T2 into subject, we are getting. T1 divided by T2 is equal L2 divided by L1. So that is equal to R. Okay. In this problem, L2 and L1 is given so that R we are going to calculate using the L2 and L1. Okay. Let's take the L2. So 96 divided by 240. This is equal to this is equal to 0. 0.4. Now we are able to calculate the 5. 5 is equal tan inverse r. What is r? 0 0.4 cos alpha. Rake angle is given 80 degree divided by 1 minus 0 0.4 sin 50. By simplifying this equation, we are able to get the 5. 5 is equal. 23.5 degrees is the answer for the first question. Is the answer for the first question. Then let's move to the second part of the problem. For the second part of the problem, 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 the chip thickness. This uh, T2 data we have to calculate. R is a known, we have calculated that one is 0.4 that is equal to T1 divided by T2. So then we can easily calculate the T2 as T2 is equal to 1.5 millimeters. Is the answer for the second part. So let's move to the third part. Let's move to the third part of the problem. The problem asking the friction angle lambda. 
So, how to determine the lambda? Lambda is equal tan inverse mu. The mu is the friction coefficient. To determine the mu, we are having the equation. What is that equation? The mu is equal Ft cos alpha plus Fc sin alpha divided by Fc cos alpha minus Ft sin alpha. If you know this uh, mu, then we can determine the lambda. So, let's see the friction coefficient. 240, that is given uh, thrust force in the cos uh, 20 degree uh, alpha rectangle plus uh, cutting force 2400 sin 20 divided by uh, cutting force 2400 cos uh, 20 degree minus 240 sin 20. By simplifying this equation, we are able to calculate the mu. So mu is equal 0.4815. So then the tan inverse mu, the lambda is equal tan inverse 0.4815, the lambda is equal 25.7 degree. This is the answer for the third question. Okay, let's move to the fourth one. Resultant cutting force. Resultant cutting force. Resultant cutting force R. The fourth question. Resultant cutting force R is equal Fc cutting force square plus thrust force T square square root. The resultant value R is equal 2400 square plus 240 square square root of total. So then R is equal 2412 Newton. Either Here's how we are solving this problem. Uh, thank you for watching.